Welcome to the feature clip on centralised deployment in SAP Business One release 9.3. Deploying your SAP Business One landscape in the latest 9.3 release has never been easier and today we will highlight those centralised deployment options. Centralised deployment options include the ability to register your Microsoft Windows and SUSE Linux machines of a company landscape. It also allows you to remotely install and use the SLD, the System Landscape Directory agent, for various operations, such as creating a server repository, the SBO Common, installing the SAP Business One clients remotely, adding demo databases to that environment, and also upgrading your SAP Business One databases. Centralised deployment promotes and enables a more comprehensive and direct management of the company landscape environment and ultimately saves time in implementation tasks. So let's have a look at some centralised deployment examples in SAP Business One release 9.3. We are now going to log into the control centre of our system landscape directory and to do this we need to enter our credentials. Once we've navigated to our system landscape directory, we're then going to navigate to the option called Logical Machines. This is a new option for centralised deployment. From here, you can register any Microsoft Windows or SUSE Linux machines of a company landscape, enabling you to deploy a remote SAP Business One client and the DI API for your Windows machines. By selecting Register, we can add any Windows machines and remotely install the System Landscape Directory agent. The SLD agent will help to install the SAP Business One client and DI API on the same server or even on a different server. The SLD agent has the capabilities to execute tasks on its own server or other servers. So in this example, we want to register two Windows machines. To register a logical machine, we need to enter the IP address and then you've got the option to enter a machine description. We then need to enter the username and password. And then we simply click Next. We then click Next again to confirm that we want to reboot after deploying the SLD agent. And then we simply click Start. So under your list of registered machines, you can now see that the agent status is currently in process as we have registered a new logical machine. We are now going to show you how to install the SLD agent on another machine manually and not register it here as a logical machine via centralised deployment. We are now currently logged in to the other machine with the following IP address that ends in 5.4. Under Packages, we select the Components Wizard folder, and from here we can execute the Install file. This will launch the SAP Business One Components Setup Wizard. We then click Next, and once we are happy to where the program files will be stored, we then click Next again. There is only one option to install, and that's the SLD agent. We then need to ensure we select the correct machine ID, which matches the IP address of the machine that we are using. From here, you need to enter SLD details. You then need to enter your Business One site user details and password. We enter the B1 site user details to register this machine as an entry in the system landscape directory, which means a record is written and kept indicating that this machine with this IP address is a logical machine. Once the setup process has been successfully completed, we click on finish.
we now need to restart the machine. If we navigate back to our system landscape directory and select the refresh option, we can now see three machines have been registered. The first one is our Linux machine with all of the backend components installed, which have been deployed externally. The next two machines are the machines that we just registered. They are the SAP Business One Windows machines with the SLD agent installed. We registered the first one automatically using the centralized deployment tool. And with the second one, we manually installed the SLD agent. From here, you also have the option to edit the details of the machine by selecting the machine details and clicking edit. If you wanted, for example, add a machine description. We are now going to select the two machines that we just registered. We're then going to click deploy. We now have the option to select the components we want to install across the machines that we have selected, such as the SAP Business One Client and DI API. By selecting Start, this will install on both of the servers the SAP Business One Client and DI API. You can see now that the selected components have been deployed. By selecting the logical machines, you can see the current deployment status. So while these components are being deployed, we are now going to navigate to database instances and companies. We're then going to select our backend server. We now have the possibility to deploy the SBO common database and demo database if it needs to be created or in some cases recreated. So to do this, for example, we simply select Deploy. From here, we can select, for example, our SBO Common, or we can select our specific localized demo database. So in this case, either France, for example, it hasn't been installed. You also have the ability to upgrade your company database by simply selecting the Upgrade option. From here, we can select any company databases that require upgrade. At this stage, we're still deploying our SBO demo database and we have the latest version already installed. So today, we've shown you how to leverage the centralized deployment tool in SAP Business One Release 9.3 to register and install the SLD agent on the Windows machines. We also showed you how to manually install the SLD agent onto another machine without using the centralized deployment tool. We've demonstrated how easy it is to then deploy the SAP Business One Client and DI API and install and upgrade the SBO Common and Demo databases across your SAP Business One landscape. Well, that concludes our feature clip on centralized deployment capabilities. Thank you for your time and make sure you check out the other feature clips highlighting SAP Business One Release 9.3.